Welcome to the Adu Show. If you are watching or streaming this episode, thank you so much for tuning in. I have a great show for you guys today. It's been taking me so long to just get this episode out and <laughs> recording because I've been having so many lighting problems and I just got a new <laughs> eye rig and I got some new stuff for this show and it's it's been very, very, very frustrating just to be honest with y'all. But it's all good. It's fixed with Gucci. I have a new guest co-host I'm excited to introduce to you guys today on. Uh, he's a YouTuber. He is a part of the brand I'm Different. Please welcome my man Drew on the line for, with us today. What's hey, what's up? What's good? What's good? How you doing? I'm chilling. I'm chilling, man. It's been a while since we uh, last talked, bro. Uh, you, how, how, how has um, everything been with you since uh, you left? Yeah, uh, everything is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, I almost said good. something. I, w I almost said something I wasn't supposed to say that I I said I would never say. But go ahead. Don't <laughs> don't put cool. it in the com. Um, don't ask me what it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, everything is good. Um, just been doing me. You know, um, ever since I graduated, I just been trying to get focused on my career. Um, ever even before I graduated, that was like, you know, my biggest uh, focus is just trying to make sure I settle in on what I want to do in my life and. I'm still even trying to figure that out now. I'm just, you know, I have more of a clear vision as to what I want to do. So that's what I've been focusing on. For sure, for sure. That's chill. Yeah. I see that back, that that D right um, on the back. I love that. I love that. Yeah, I love, the, guys, I, the I'm Different logo. Yeah, yeah. that's his brand, y'all. If y'all check that out, I mean, if y'all check out, if y'all go to, if y'all have Instagram, if you go to Instagram and what is the ad, again, because I know there's like, underscores it's and stuff I'm different underscore no it's i'm underscore different and an underscore official that's yeah. what i thought if you was, go yeah. to my instagram it, i have it in my link you know in yeah. the bio and all that that's true. automatic just click it goes in that's chill well i'm glad um that you're doing good um are you ready to get in some topics for today yes sir yes all sir right. let's go so okay i almost messed that up most people tend to wear black to funerals when a loved one passes, but there's a new funeral fashion trend many people have been seen rocking. They are jeans. Eh? Eh? That was just so cringy. Uh, apparently, so many people think it's okay to don denim at funerals that, that it has to be addressed on the site. Uh, guy counseling and while some people think showing up to honor the dead in jeans is disrespectful one man disagreed saying in part if it were my funeral I wouldn't care I'd be dead so my man uh, would you be caught dead wearing jeans to a funeral uh, I don't know man I mean that's not something I've never heard of anybody wearing jeans to a funeral I mean unless it's just somebody that you don't know the person but I ain't I don't yeah. know about that. That seems kind of disrespectful. You can at least wear some like khakis or something. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I was talking about this uh, topic yesterday uh, to, um, to my brother and a couple friends of mine. And they, um, our society, and even my dad, he chimed in on it and on the conversation. He was like, his generation and my generation, of course, our generation, they're, we're different in so many ways, especially yeah. when it comes to clothing and greeting and being respectful and one of those things um for uh i think is how we go to churches and like this funerals and i will say now when you go to certain churches uh, uh, with a lot of young people and you know some um elderly people too they have um no suits no dresses none of that it's just like casual wear it's yeah. like you know like yeah. um there's a there's a, a church like um, down the street was well, not down the street for me, but it's um like thirty minutes away from me. It's like it's called I five City I five Church, and it, oh, I, my, I love that church. Yeah. That's my favorite church. I love I five. Yeah, they they I have a lot of people that go there that I know, and they are just coming like, you know, come like as you are. That's what the Bible come, says. Yeah, come, come as, as you are. are. That's what I was gonna say too. Come as you are. It's like yeah. uh, I five City. I can name a couple churches. I five Elevation, uh, Redeemer, uh. You got you got a variety of churches out here. Y'all can comment down below if you go to a church that wears all casual wear. Comment down below what church um, you go to or your friend goes to. Uh, I will say that if going back to the funeral um, type um, thing, 
uh, conversation. When you go to a funeral and you know how some people before they actually, you know, pass away or whatever, yeah. they um they they say what they want, you know, before they die. They, you know, they, right. they go down the list and if if they do that before they die, then I will follow the guidelines of what they put down or whatever they said. Right. Right. But, you know, if it's just like, you know, the parents of the daughter or brother or whoever died uh right. then i'll right. follow them their stuff or and sometimes you know you go to funerals some people go to funerals and they don't have nice clothing it's just you know ripped pants sure. and maybe a jacket or something i yeah, know sure. and i'm not i'm not wishing death upon me early i'm just saying but when i do get up there like i pray like god 90 100 would be great if i can see 90 and 100 years thank you god uh <laughs> i would just want people to just come yeah Nothing me too formal. to be honest uh i don't I'd really care you, too much I'd about rather, how you dress yeah. i mean i'd rather you just, just having there. that person there is just i guess is all that matters i mean i guess like you said before i mean you're dead so i mean you don't really know that doesn't I hope I'm. I hope I'm in heaven. You know, with yeah. the with the holy one when yeah. I pass. You know, so I don't think I'll even be caring too much about that. But you know, oh yeah, for it's sure, forever. oh for sure. And that, like that guy said, um, in that blog, you're he's dead. A lot, you know, why you're not really thinking about, um, like death. I heard somebody who gave his testimony about, um, and I promise you, it was real. I tell you, it went ahead over three million views and i'm not just basing it off the views but i can tell how sincerely this uh guy was about giving his testimony and he said when he um this is just what i believe he said when he was um in heaven uh he wasn't thinking about like what was happening on earth he said when you I know in, exactly what interview you're talking about you're talking about the one with him and his father was on the stage yeah, yeah, yeah that one yeah that one yeah. like he's not you're not thinking about anything girlfriend yeah. wife memories whatever yeah it's all about being in the presence of the most high yeah so, it's, it's just all about being yeah. with him because so, it's like you it destroys yeah. all that worldly stuff you know all that worldly stuff it just don't matter it just goes out the window yeah so you know just saying for anybody out there i'm not really asking for y'all to come you know as sunday's best i just want y'all to just come be present celebrate that I'm alive, my soul's somewhere else, and s still alive, not dead. That's just me. But everybody got their preference and uh, beliefs and whatever, and I got all love and respect. Just saying, because, you know, yeah. not all my yeah. friends are, you know. <laughs> 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 just saying, let's just be real right now. But that's chill. Uh, we got to take a break, but there's more there to do so after this. Still, stick around. Welcome back to the Do Show. Now, if you have a song in your heart, you might want to keep it to yourself because apparently not everyone wants to hear it. <laughs> a user took to the website Cora to ask the question, what is wrong with people who constantly whistle, sing, or hum tunes? And while some users admitted to actually enjoying hearing someone belt out a tune, most users felt like people who sing hum, or whistle in public are desperate for attention or just selfish. So, uh, Drew, and for everybody else uh, watching, comment down below. When you hear someone singing or whistling a tune, does it make you want to hit the mute button or would you want to join them in harmony? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or just listen to them. I you know, you never know. I mean, I'm not someone who's gonna like sing and stuff because I ain't, I ain't for all that. Or at least, I mean, I'm for that. I just ain't gonna do all that because I ain't, I ain't gifted in that area. But you know, if it's if it's not an annoyance, then I can tolerate it. But at the same time, sometimes I don't always want to like hear people singing. Yeah. But I heard yeah. this one person say the world's full of you know bad stuff happening in this life, and the world's full of hate. You, you, you'll rarely find someone you know full of joy, or if they're not hiding it, you know, you feel me, you know, 
they're out and about singing, uh, you know, spreading love, you know, and it's not just on social media, just out and about. Yeah. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, uh, I, I feel you. Honestly, I it, it just doesn't bother me. Um, now, if it's somebody I know personally, uh, like like my cousin or something, and she's just singing super loud and obnoxious for no reason. They you know, just hey, don't sound good. They just I'm busting out. Up. Yeah, I'm going to tell her to shut up. But uh, <laughs> if it's just some random person in the street, I, I'm going to try to do whatever I can to get away with it if it don't sound good. But, I mean, it's, it's not my place to just say, hey, you need to be quiet. But so they're I singing their heart out. Myself, you know? They're singing their heart out, though. <laughs> oh well, I mean, if they're singing their heart out, and let's say we standing in the Starbucks line, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna give them a look, like you know, come on, you know, there's other yeah. people here, you know, I don't want to yeah. have to karate chop them, so, you know. <laughs> I mean, look, this is what I say also, and then we'll move on. I think a lot of times, you know, people like I, I know for me, I'm someone who will just bust out singing. I will admit, um, but I ain't gonna. I'll do it very quietly. You feel me, like. You'll notice it, but a lot of people can really tolerate it or they won't even, like, pay attention to it because I'm really quiet in it. And I think that's just yeah. me when I, like, hum or sing because I'm always, like, air drumming. And so if I'm not air drumming, I'm, like, playing a song to my head while I'm doing work or while I'm just going about my day. And so yeah. I think that's just, like, a habit. It's, like, almost like a, a childhood habit kind of thing. I, I've about, been doing that for my whole life. Always got some beat and some yeah. that type of melody playing in my head. Some or, song. I'm or, the same way. or, and I don't talk about this a lot. Now, a lot of people don't know this about me. But what I do uh, is, uh, like, I use my teeth as a drum. Like, Dude, dude, I've been doing that. Uh, like, you, and, you, and, you, and when you uh, when you do the kick, you're using your teeth, you... Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I've been doing that since I was like four. Yeah. Since I was four, I've been doing that. Yeah, I don't know why. It's just like a natural. It's, this is a habit. It's like a yeah. childhood habit, which you might. I might as well just go into that right now. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh! Wow. You, you you see how relatable you know people can be. You know, it's so funny. I think Sean Mendes' drummer was like that somewhat. Everything was right. just drums you know it was fascinating he was on the show uh he was like yeah. yo like it was something always fascinating about drums that really just got to me so he just stuck with ever it since i was little career. i've been the same way it's like i've been the same way about drums to this it's like I've, i ain't gonna lie i'm not as hard on drums as i was at one point like i used to have a drum set every year yeah a new drum set and uh ever since i've stopped playing in church and you know kind of faded away from playing like actively all the time it's still there. And like you said, I still always have beats going through my head. It's just something you can't run away from, you know? Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. It's just, yeah, it's yeah. just the habit. It's it's what you love. It's what you love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And speaking about uh, what you love and habits, um, so you've all heard the saying, old habits die hard, right? Well, it couldn't be more true because Twitter recently had people coming clean with the hashtag, childhood habits i still have and people's confessions are pretty relatable like user at nessa underscore star four who said if mom says no i asked dad user at js williams 1962 said not eating vegetables man eat your vegetables eat your greens <laughs> um, i eat that spinach yes yeah, sir uh, collards. I love collards. I'm a big collards fan. Collard greens. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's a soul food right there. That's yeah. Soul food. Yes. You already know. That's yeah. And at at Sima, man, these are some mm, some mm, some mm, usernames. <laughs> uh, at Sima Dan five two two said, "Faking sick to stay home." So everybody watching and Drew, what do you say that is your childhood habit that you still do today? Mm. I mean, it's kind of hard for me to just pick one. I mean, I, I think it's like when it's just you doing it, you know, you don't realize it that you're doing it because it's you. It's a habit. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, I think for sure, like the one you mentioned with like the, the constant having beats run through your head and hearing songs and just playing beats songs in your head all day. That's definitely something I still do to this day. Um, I still have to. uh Let's see. I can't really think of anything to be honest. I mean, you know, like I said, I'm, I mean, I'm a single child too. So it's like, you know, 
unless somebody tells me like, yo, you still been doing that since you was a kid. I, I don't yeah. really remember to be yeah, honest. It's, it's almost like this quote that I heard. Well, it's not really a quote, but I heard uh, somebody. It's say, like muscle memory. We can we can we we can see everything else but ourselves. So when we you know when we do things, we don't always know it's a habit. So I get what you're saying or that. I know yeah. I sometimes take things um, to note when it comes to, like I said, biting my teeth and using like my my left jaw or my right my left jaw as a high tom and then my right jaw as a medium tom and then my low yep. tom as like my cheekbone. Using the tongue as a hi hat. Yes, or yeah. Oh my gosh, I thought I was. <laughs> Smacking your teeth to make it like a like a drum machine type yeah, noise, and I, then you use like the back of your paws, but, the back of your throat as a uh, as a snare. Or I, you know what I use? I use my I use like right here, like yeah, like right, like it was almost like a Kong. Like I don't yeah. know, I don't know, like a deep, deep. It's snare. weird. It's really weird, but it's like a habit that we just I, I've yeah. just developed, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah From sure. being such a big drum fan, you know. Oh, uh, for sure. I mean, I can make my teeth sound like a fourteen times nine ten, a fourteen by nine ten. That's what I'm saying, <laughs> and a fourteen by uh eight. But besides uh music, I think it's also uh I well I grew well I'm gonna say I grew out of stuttering a little bit when I. Um, have conversations with people because sometimes I do want to get my words out but it's a lot I want to say and I still have right. it up until this day and I've improved especially because this show has like told me okay you have 30 minutes to say this or you have five not 30 minutes but you have 30 minutes show but you have five minutes to say this and you can't stop at all you we're not doing edits so it has taught me to uh uh I guess say my stuff quickly precise direct and straightforward and I'm like, to the point. Lord, please. Yeah, almost like straight <laughs> to the point. Like, please take this habit away from me. But um, it's something that I still um, not struggle with, but deal with on a daily. I'm trying to think of some other things that I've done um, that I still do. Not that I've done, that I still do up until this day that are pretty weird. And I probably think that my parents, if they were here, they, or even my brother, that's so much. Oh, you know what's so funny? I'm very... Uh, I like I like stuff organized. I was just um, talking to my brother about it. I'm like very organized. Like if I see something out of place, like that book I see right there, <laughs> I, uh, like I want to move. I, I am on. I want to move it. I really want to move it, but I know I'm. If I get out of this chair, it's not going to be uh, good just because I'm filming a show. But it's stuff like that that really like. Uh, it's a knack in the head. Yeah. yeah. I know I'm the same. I'm the same yeah. way too. I, yeah. I have to, like my room. I cannot go to bed if I have stuff on the floor. If I have stuff laying on my bed, like all over the place, I'm I'm the same. I'm a neat freak. Yeah. I really don't play that game. Yeah, and I, I think sometimes when I move stuff, uh, other people, especially if it's other people's stuff, it gets lost for them. But I know where it is too. So I like now I'm training myself and I've actually been doing this for a while now where whenever I move somebody else's stuff um, in this house, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to tell them and then move it so they won't be questioning me about what happened to this or what happened to that. Or whatever. Right, right. So uh, I think it's also because I see uh, myself living in a neat house or even who mm-hmm. needs studio apartment. And I'm like, I'm that kind of way. Like, my my room is never messy. It's just, like, my room is small. I share a room with my brother. Like, I don't know how it can be, how it can get messy. I've been living with my, sharing a room with my brother for, like, the past, what, 15 years? 14 <laughs> years? Like, so it's kind of, like, it's, I'm kind of used to it um, in a sense. But, you know, at the same time, everybody... I know has that weird, you know, like thing uh, that always, I know it's, I know everybody, even if it's just a small thing, it don't even have to be big. Even if it's a small childhood habit, comment down below. If you are watching this uh, on YouTube, what uh, childhood habit you have? Uh, I know a lot of people are streaming this episode, so y'all can't do really nothing. No, I'm playing. Yeah, contact me, DM me, let me know. Uh, yeah, I, I get, I get, I get a bit uh, like 
ugh, cringy and I clench my teeth when I do like weird stuff, especially around uh, friends or just people in public because there are some things like that might irritate me and I naturally just, you know, try to fix it, whether it is, you know, being neat or it's uh, when I eat food, I always have to have a napkin because I don't want that stuff on my mouth because I wasn't like this. I love ice cream, like ice cream. Like, I don't mind having, I don't mind having people eat ice cream around me, but most of the time when I eat food, I like look down so I don't see everybody else because if I see everybody else just, you know, just going in and eating, eating, some people can be messy and then that'll trick something in me, in me like, oh my gosh, that's disgusting. It makes me not want to eat yeah, my food. Yeah, it's like a little pet peeve type thing. Yeah, so I've had that. Actually, that just started. So and I still consider myself a child. So I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I, it's it, it's those things. And I, I, I oh, man, <laughs> everybody's going to know my business and start cracking on me because I let them in. But, y'all, that's me in a nutshell. That's part of me. Y'all still going to learn a lot about me throughout the next couple of episodes. Uh, uh you have anything else to say? I'm about to go break. Uh, no, nah, I'm shoot. I'm just. I was just listening to you talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, we can go on. I got like four four minutes left. So, uh, uh, I know. I know you're gonna come back on the show, and we're gonna talk about um, um, the I'm different brand. Uh, but uh, I, I, do you have uh, any upcoming announcements or whatever? If you don't, it's good. Uh, I have some stuff that I'm getting ready to get into business wise, like certain uh, something I'm getting ready to be starting really soon. Um, I, I'd rather announce it like when I fully come out. I'm the type like I, yeah, go I'm 100 percent sure yeah, do that. that I'm like you know knowing yeah, yeah. that it's gonna come out. I'm just kind of been yeah bringing into production right now, you know, I and got, until I, got I fully respect. know, I got then I'll bring it out. You know, I got respect for you, dog. I love that. I love that. Yeah. Way. All right. Well, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Uh, we have to take a break, but there's more there to do show after this. Stick around. Hey, folks, that's all the time that I have for today. Drew, thank you so much for coming by and being a uh, guest co-host. Uh, come back anytime, bro. Check out Drew's channel. That's all the time that I have for today. If you like, if you would like to view clips from today's show, just head on over to Drew's YouTube channel for more exclusive content. That's me. Also, if you want to stream full episodes, head on over to Castbox.fm or Anchor.fm. Both are available for download on the Google Play Store and App Store. And finally, make sure to tune in to The Do Show only on YouTube.com. Until next time, stay cool, live life, stay safe, stay secure.